Hey, this is Lula, and this is the series where we look at the most expensive house for sale in each state. We are in Oregon, and we are actually pretty far down on the price list for Oregon. There were a lot of commercial properties, a lot of ranches that just had cabins on them, uh, land parcels. So that brought us all the way down to this $20 million, five-bed, six-bath home, uh, which that's, that's no small sticker price. But for the West Coast, we're, we're used to some, some pretty hefty dollar signs on the coasts. So let's see what we've ended up with here. I'm, I'm suspecting land is going to be a big part of the appeal here. We can see that there's a lot of different buildings kind of clustered together on this property. Let's see what we've got. All right. Looking at this, we can see it's got a very McMansion-y vibe to it. It's It's got a lot of stone facade. The roof line is very busy. There's a lot of like doubling up on the roof lines. This tiny roof behind, in front of this big roof. And it, yeah, it's kind of a mess. And it seems to mostly be on one floor, at least from what I could see here. Uh, it looks like maybe we got, uh, I'm assuming this is a statue here like a, a moose or a horse or something. We've seen horse statues out front before. Oh, it's a cow, and it looks like there's a little cow right there. Um, that's, yeah, that's that's somewhere between a moose and a horse, I would say. I'm looking at these, these window patterns, and, man, we got, like, this is a, a vertical wood paneling on this bit of the house, and then the stone facade. I don't see any windows that are the same shape from one part of the house to the next. And up here, is it just me or like with the wood bar going across these little windows? It kind of looks like a three-eyed monster that's angry. That's what it looks like to me. This is the same image we saw before. We do have a, a spectacular view of the mountains out there. So if you, if you like to look at the mountains, they are pretty. And here's another angle on the property. This is the main house here. It looks like this is a, a stable, I'm assuming. Maybe a garage, but I think it's a stable. And then this big building, which might be a barn? That's my, my best guess on that. All right, we're inside, and immediately, immediately, we are treated with a TV over the fireplace. Up front, we are, we are going to have some wonderful McMansion crimes going on here. A TV over the fireplace, and... Not to be outdone, 10,000 can lights. Holy shit. I mean, that's that's above and beyond. That's like a grid. And there, you, a lot of them are burned out because they're so high in the ceiling. I'm sure they're a pain to replace. And when you've got this many, you'd be replacing them all the time. You've got all of these hanging leg fixtures in here. You've got plenty of windows. Why do you need that many can lights. This one's a, that's a three by four. That's 12 can lights just in this little panel of ceiling. Same over here. Same. And if you're waiting for me to say, oh, everyone did can lights in the early 2000s. Uh, you know, everyone drilled hole. This house was built in 2009. That's not that long ago. That's 13 years ago. We knew better. We're also open concept. God, there's a lot to call out just in this one room. We're open concept, so we've got the living room and the kitchen and the dining room and a big wide open hallway here. The whole house sounds like a dishwasher when the dishwasher runs. Here's the kitchen, which is just a shoved in a little corner of the main room. God, more can lights up here. Every single panel of ceiling just filled to the brim with them. Lots of mirrors. I mean, this, yeah, that's a big ass mirror. It's a pretty small kitchen, at least from this angle. Got, of course, you know, weird animal skins on here. And, the, I mean, the, the mirrors all along the back wall here, it makes it look like a bar. I'm also not seeing the refrigerator. Oh, hold on, hold on. Maybe that, that was not the kitchen. That actually was just a bar. Okay, so this is just a wet bar. Um, because the kitchen is... Over here, I guess, this is a completely different room. I don't know how you get to that other space from here. We can see it's got the same ceiling, so it's probably not too far away, I'm hoping. Uh, some interesting stonework here. Everything is built into this stone wall. 
which is, it looks nice here, but whatever this, I assume this is like a toaster oven or something, whenever you need to replace that, you need to get the size down really exactly. Same with the microwave, same with the, the stove. We've got a, an induction stove top over here as a second. <gasps> But we do have, do you know what I see? I see a pasta arm. We've got a pasta arm. All right, they are living their best pasta arm lives, uh, which which is necessary. No, it's not necessary. There's a sink right here. I was going to say that this sink was very far away, but you've got two sinks and a pasta arm all in a row. And finally, last but not least, we've got a hidden refrigerator, a refrigerator disguised to look like a cabinet because you can't let them know you eat. You can't let them know you eat or else they might feed you to the bears. Uh, we've got lots of antlers. I noticed some antlers poking out of the corners in that other room. And we got a taxidermy peacock up here. Um, so we're just going to be, we're going to be leaning into the dead animal parts. We had, we had them on those chairs and now this, and I have a feeling it's just going to get worse from here on out. Here is how the, oh no. Oh, I don't look at this. It's just like a little sliver that you can peek through to this room and it's oh oh boy. Just uh I'm I'm glad they've given me a warning without making me look at the whole thing cuz that's going to be overwhelming for me. Um anyway, here is is how the kitchen connects into the dining room. I'm trying so hard not to look at it. I'm, <laughs> don't look at it. They're looking at me. I can't even see their eyes, but they're looking at me. That's a taxidermy skunk right there. You have to be really dedicated to the craft to taxidermy a skunk. I don't, I can't even tell what those are up here, but there's, oh God, that's the peacock. I think that's another type of fowl here. There's a fowl there. Oh, oh God, this is going to be so much. All right, I'm, I'm. Concerned that the next click is going to take us into the taxidermy room. I'm just bracing myself. <gasps> deep breaths, deep breaths. Nope, we're going to the dining room first. All right, we're getting a reprieve. Uh, we've got a big-ass valence with no curtains to go with it. Fine, I guess. We've got can lights drilled into a beautiful wood ceiling. That seems cruel and unusual. Uh, this door goes through to a patio area. And is this a TV? Is there a TV in the dining room? That's so fucking tacky. What do you need? Like, talk to your family. I don't know. Either talk or either sit around the table and talk to your family or eat and like go to the living room and eat in front of the TV like a normal plebeian. Oh, wow. Well, this is why, because this is the formal dining room. That other one was an informal dining room and can you imagine you start dating someone and and they're like oh i'm gonna take you home to meet the family we're gonna have a nice dinner together and they lead you into this dining room with these fucking cow heads with these huge horns looming over your head and the antler chandelier in the middle and and their parents are, are asking you about <laughs> about your intentions and the, oh my god this this is deranged this is not normal behavior to have this in your dining room this is this is absolute insane behavior and and the stampede on the wall here with the gigantic mirror on this side everyone on this side of the table has to just like look into their own eyes and watch themselves eat. That's not normal. Oh God, and, and the fact that you have to walk through this like stone passageway to get there, as if, you know, it's like this is the crypt where you're gonna be buried after the Minotaur bursts out of the wall and kills you. Jesus Christ, this is far too much. <laughs> Oh my god, do you think that's actual animal skin? I bet it is. I bet that's actual cow skin that they have upholstered the walls of their... <laughs> okay, um, first of all, we've got the obligatory in home movie theater. And 
second they've upholstered the walls with cow skin. That's not normal. Be normal. What is the matter with you people? Oh my god. What the fuck is that? I don't even... I... I do not have the qualifications to even begin dissecting the psychology behind this sort of choice. Who makes that choice? <laughs> and now we're into, I guess, the formal ballroom, which is an inside outside. There's still so many can lights. There's so many fucking can lights in the ceiling. I can't. And the trees, the fake tree inside, multiple fake trees. This is like that Indiana house, you know, the, the Indiana house that had all of the like greenery, except all of this is fake. I assume, I assume those trees are not actually growing in here and it's not actually cohesive. Like at least in the Indiana house, you had like wood, wood paneled walls and it all kind of seemed to blend into the room. This is just like a high school gym or an auditorium, like blank big white walls and a bunch of fake fucking plants stuck in here for no apparent reason. This is so bizarre. I can't deal with this. <laughs> every, every shot is just like being slapped in the face. Is that a saber tooth tiger skull? back there. I think it is. I think that is the skull of a saber-toothed tiger. What the shit? There are so many animal taxidermied animals on here. They are so large. I And there's more back there. That's a full-size elk. Do you know how big those are? Those things are enormous. What is this? What is the name of this mental illness? This has got to be some sort of condition that someone has. Okay, we're in an office because apparently you can have whatever is wrong with this person be wrong with you and still have a job. Can you imagine if this person was your coworker? Can you imagine they're like working from home and you're calling them and you have no idea that they have a saber toothed tiger skull and a full taxidermied elk in the other room? Like you're just seeing this room and you don't know. You don't know. Um, I like, I like this, uh, kind of weird warped glass in the door. Uh, I'll say that. Um, also the fact that they've got a full fucking TV directly over the main workspace at this desk. Are you really sitting here and the TV is like a foot away from your face and you're watching it? Oh my god. I'm guessing this is the main bedroom. We've got another... TV over the fireplace, another TV over the fireplace, because while we are collecting taxidermied animals, we should just, you know, be killing and preserving our TVs too, I guess. Another gigantic mirror. There's nothing wrong with having a mirror in your bedroom if you want to, like, see what you look like before you leave for the day, but does it have to be that big? Uh, another beautiful wood ceiling with can lights drilled into it. Great, great fucking can lights. Uh, the floor, this floor is gorgeous. Everything about, everything else about the room, uh, absolutely not. Nope. It's also just an enormous room. Like, it, it looks like a room that's almost so big you would have to put a separate sitting area in it. So they've just put this one awkward chair with a bowl of spheres next to it by the fire, and it, it looks somehow even worse, even more awkward. The, the faux stonework in here, or it might be real stonework, I don't know. It it looks weird. Uh, combine it with this weird sponge painted wall, I don't know. It's not even sponge painted, it's, I don't know what that is. It's not correct though. And it doesn't match the stonework, this weird stone inset with the, the freestanding bathtub. This seat doesn't actually fit there. Like. Yes, space-wise it fits there, but it's like half in, half out of the, the bath alcove. Also, it looks like it's velvet. What is up with rich people and putting fucking velvet furniture in the wettest room in the house where you're supposed to be getting out of the bath and you're going to just sit your wet ass on the velvet? Are you insane? No. Got a 
bowl as a sink that was popular at one point i guess uh you needed you needed the gigantic mirror so bad that you drilled the faucet into the mirror why would you make that choice that makes absolutely no sense now now it's going to be a pain in the ass to replace both the sink you know when this weird steampunk design or whatever goes out of style and it's going to be impossible to replace the mirror when this weird studded hot topic belt style goes out of fashion i'm seeing a lot of fake candles in this house in light fixtures i don't know who's going to tell them that that's not in style and never has been i don't know who's going to tell them that but it's not going to be me oh wow this this is a shower that you can fit the whole football team in holy shit how many shower heads is that uh well we've got four of the the main shower heads and then, then we've got the ones poking out of the walls that'll blast you right across the room i mean just working all of these knobs that looks so complicated this is like the the control board on the starship enterprise and you have to figure that out so you can figure out which of these faucets is about to blast freezing water at you also this brickwork does not match the the stonework and and, and just having it stone floor stone ceiling brick wall it, it's like being in a crypt oh here's a very white room just a blindingly blindingly white room um, lots of storage, I guess that's nice. Uh, but we've got a TV opposite the bed so you could really destroy your sleep hygiene. That's great. And a bathroom that is generally boring. Yeah, this bowl is a sink. See, this, and this bowl looks too small too. Like, you have to cram your hands in there in order to wash them. And I'm sure it just, like, splashes out all over the counter constantly. Oh, more cow skin upholstery. And another antler chandelier, but this one is like weirdly on the side of this room over nothing. That's, I don't know what that is. Uh, I, I like the yellow curtains. I don't like anything else about the colors in this room, except I'm glad that this chair rail has been allowed to be, it looks like that's just a, a distressed wood. Um, I don't know. The, the ceilings in this house are so fucking ugly. It looks like we're going through into a bathroom there. Another TV, because we have to have a TV in every single room in this house, apparently. God forbid we should turn off the idiot box for two seconds. Oh, my. The, the lights mounted on the moose antler. Jesus. Uh, the cow hide inset into the mirror. Jesus. Uh, I just, I, I, hmm. Yet another tiny bowl sink, barely big enough for your hands. Uh, all white walls. Uh, at least they've done something slightly different with the, the bath, I guess. Here's a laundry room. Is there enough storage in here? Christ almighty. I, I've, okay, I've seen this before in laundry rooms where they've got just like cabinets galore. What do you need to store in the laundry room? Like, the iron, is I, is this also the linen closet? How many linens do you have? I'm just, I'm so confused about what is supposed to go in here. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. What is this? Why is this a little fake? Is that supposed to be like an African savanna? Like, based on those trees? I think this is supposed to be a savanna. All of these are fake plants. Uh, the track lighting painted blue to match the fake sky. What is this? The fake rocks? No, I can't. Like, this looks like an exhibit at the zoo. Why is it in your house? What is this? No. <gasps> this is literally... This is literally a zoo exhibit. Except I'm sure that there's nothing alive in here. I'm sure it's all just taxidermy. Oh, that was, they, okay, we're not going to get any more context on that? Fine, fine. I'm stressed. Okay, we're looking at this big external building here. 
Oh, we've got a pool. Yep, that's a, a fine pool. That's that's a pretty cool railing. I'll, I'll give them that. There's a hot tub. All right, that's nice. The deck looks very nice. Where is this? Is that what I thought was? I didn't, I don't remember that stable being this big. This might be elsewhere on the property. This, and this looks like a barn also. Like this is, I don't know enough about ranching to know what any of this is. I just know the fences are to keep animals in. I couldn't tell you what kind. I assume they have hooves. Oh, yep, this is, this is a horse. Sunny, Sunny is a horse. Big old stable. How many horses do you think they have? I bet it's at least two. We got some nice, you know, native landscaping at least. Ooh, got an indoor. I still don't know what this is actually called. I, I've been calling it a paddock and no one's corrected me yet, so I think I might be right. Um, or else none of you know anything about horses or horse keeping either. Uh, who's to say? And we got a sitting room in the paddock. Is that normal? I mean, this is giving me the vibes of like the little uh, area with booths that goes next to the the roller skating rink. They're doing they're doing like the couples skate over there, except it's with horses. And then you're over here having a blue Slurpee. Oh, mm, nope. I don't like I don't like the vibe of this at all. I don't know who that is. I assume they are problematic in some way. What? Is this all just like, this is, this looks artificial to me. This, this had to be artificially made. So we've got an artificial pond with artificial islands and bridges that go over it. I assume this is for fishing. If you could stand on this little fake island and fish for, in your fake pond. There's a garage. I'm sure they've got a normal amount of vehicles in there. No, they don't. Uh, this is probably staff housing. From the outside, at least, it looks nice. Uh, these are... Um, I want to say it's a weir. Like, you know, you've got fish weirs that's supposed to, like, direct the fish in certain directions. But I'm sure this one is for cows and or horses. That's a horse weir. I think that's what that is. There's a barn. So then what the hell was that other building? Is that, was that the zoo exhibit? Was that the other building? Mysteries. <laughs> Holy shit. Look at all of this water that gets wasted on this stupid fucking lawn. I mean, this is the West Coast. I mean, it's the, the wetter part of the West Coast, but I don't know if you've ever been in, in the Pacific Northwest in the summer. It's dry as shit in the summer. They do wet season, dry season, and, and the grass is supposed to die in the summer. That's what it's supposed to do. But you know these people are just watering the shit out of it to artificially keep it alive through the summer. Got some, I don't know, landscaping stuff. It's fine. And that looks like a house for, I don't know, a pig, maybe. Who knows? All right, and that's that's Oregon. I... Uh, absolute horror of taxidermy and mediocre McMansion architecture, boring features, uh, cheap details, and so many can lights I, I could scream. So I think a lot of people that, that know of Oregon just through things like Portlandia and, and Portland culture in general, uh, they forget that there are two Oregons. There is, there is the Portland, Oregon, which is the hippies and hipsters and, and all of that. And then there is the, the ranchin' western prepper survivalist uh, Oregon, which is just atrocious. And I am not at all surprised that this house is, is ascribing to that latter category. Um, all right. If you saw anything that you think I missed... If you've got any thoughts on uh, Oregon rancher culture, go ahead and leave a comment. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and have a good one.